Hello everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we are gonna learn some basic balloon designs. Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians where my goal is to help you become the best possible magician that you can be. And in today's episode, we're gonna do a first balloon twisting 101 class. Now I wanna put a little disclaimer on this. I am by no means a professional balloon twister, but what I can tell you is that I have taken the time to learn some really basic, simple designs so that I can have a little add-on package uh, for when I go out and do my kids' shows, right? So the way that I do it is the parents book me for a kids' show. The basic package is just like a 30-minute magic show where I show up, I do magic tricks for the kids, and then they have an add-on where they can do Magic Academy where I spend 15 minutes teaching the kids three really easy-to-do tricks that they can do with objects that they find around their house. Maybe I give them popsicle sticks and teach them a paddle move to do like a hot rod, or I give them these little red pom-pom balls and I teach them... Uh, the retention vanish and they can learn how to make things disappear and pull it from like their ear and stuff like that. Um, or uh, what I do is I actually have a, a balloon twisting session where each kid gets to take home a balloon and that's another add-on package. Or what you can do is you can do a deluxe package where they get all of that stuff. They get a magic lesson, they get the, the show, they get a balloon. And you can even say if you buy the deluxe package, I'll throw in a party favor too. Uh, so the kids will get a little magic kit to take home and a bunch of cool stuff, right? So a lot of really cool ideas um, just so you can make some extra money. You can charge some more to do some upsells, right? I talked about the importance of doing upsells in another video. I recommend you guys go watch that video after you're done watching this one so you can kind of get some more ideas on upsells and downsells and all those things. Um, but in this video, what I wanted to do is show you guys four really simple balloon designs um, that you guys can do that won't take very long to learn. And they're a lot of fun, the kids will love them, right? Uh, I think if you guys really enjoyed this video, I'll do another one. My goal is to have 10 designs under my belt that I can do uh, consistently, that are really easy, that don't take too long. I'm talking like one minute, maybe a minute and a half each balloon. That way you can knock out like 30 balloons in like an hour, right? So first, let's talk about balloons. Actually, you know what, before we talk about balloons, Let's talk about announcements. If you have not already done so, please make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to support the channel for just a dollar a month, be sure to click the join button and become a member. Members get access to a bunch of cool stuff, including tutorials, early access to videos, emojis, badges, and even discounts on the O'Brien Magic Shop. In fact, let's go ahead and shout out a couple of our newest members. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to A.D. Adams and Amazing Smile PH. Thank you guys so much for joining the channel. Becoming members is because of you, it's because of my subscribers, and it's because of everyone else that watches these videos that I am able to keep this channel going. So thank you so much. All right, so first let's talk about balloons, right? I have a little bag of balloons here. Um, these are what are called uh, 260s. And the brand that I purchased is called Qualitex, or Qualatex. I'm not sure how to say it, <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check these out. Um, these are the ones that, from what I understand, most of the professionals like to use. They are just really good balloons. And um, 260 is the size. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, you're also going to want to get a good air pump, right, just like this. And the reason that I think you should use an air pump is because if you try to mouth inflate these, it is extremely difficult to do. Uh, I know you watch balloon artists and they, just, and they just blow up the balloon and it's like super easy looking. Uh, they make it look really easy, but it takes a lot of practice, right? So what I'm also gonna do at the end of this video is uh, give a shout out uh, to one of the uh, videos that I learned from, right? So I'll leave a little uh, link there. Again, I'll leave a link to their dis uh, channel in the description below. So you guys can learn how to do that stuff. You can learn how to mouth inflate as well as uh, some other designs too, right? But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and learn a couple of really easy designs. Now the first one that I'm gonna show you is the balloon sword. All right, so let's go ahead and make a balloon sword. Now, this is probably the easiest design to make and it's probably gonna be the one that's the most popular for you, right? So first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna inflate our balloon. 
and we're gonna blow it all the way up. We're gonna leave just a little teeny tiny bit of room at the end, okay? Uh, just a little bit, a little tiny bit. That way, uh, when we go to twist it, the balloon doesn't pop, right? We also have to tie this end. So what I'm gonna do is pinch here and let just a little bit of air out, right? What that does is that creates a little bit of length here so that I can actually take this, twist it around, pull it through, and tie it. So now the balloon is tied, right? So now, how do we make our sword? This is gonna be so easy, you ready? First, you fold the balloon in half. Just like this, exactly in half. Then you're gonna take the top half and you're gonna fold that in half, right? Then you're gonna find the middle of these three balloons, just like this, gripping all three with your fingers and then gripping this over here with the left hand and you are going to twist everything. And you're gonna twist this maybe three times, just like this. And now you have a balloon sword. And like I said, I'm not like super good at it yet, so maybe mine might look a little bit uh, lopsided, but it doesn't matter. The kids still really enjoy these, pew, 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 right? And they're gonna fight with them and they're probably gonna pop it and you might end up having to make them another one. I always tell them, hey guys, you know, just be careful with it. Don't hit each other too hard because it's just a balloon, it will pop. But you saw how quick that was to make? Really, really simple balloon sword. Learn it, it's your best friend. All right, next we're gonna learn how to make a dog. Now there's a lot of cool things you can do with a dog, right? Uh, I like to do a uh, doggy bag by Wayne Dobson. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'll leave a link to a video to that so you guys can go watch it also. Um, but a dog is a classic, really easy to do, and a lot of kids love the dog. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one. So again, we're gonna take our 260. This time we're using a red one. And we're gonna fill it up, but we're not gonna fill it up all the way. We're actually gonna leave a lot of room at the end uh, for the tail, right? Maybe about that long, right? Give or take, right? And you can even do like maybe a little less, there we go. You wanna have a nice long tail. And again, you're gonna let some out in the front so that you can tie the balloon off just like this so that everything is secure. So I have something that looks like this with a little tail, right? Now let's learn some terms. Uh, first, we're gonna learn a pinch twist. And the way that I do that is I'm gonna grab uh, the bit that I wanna twist and I'm gonna pinch with the other hand. So I'm gonna pinch this down, literally pinch it, right? And I'm gonna twist. Now for this one, we wanna make the nose. So I make that about two finger lengths or so. Twist, maybe three times. And now I have something that looks like this. Now, if I let go of that, it's undone. So of course you have to make sure that when you do the pinch twist, that you're holding on to it, right? So I like to hold on to it with my pinky. Then we're gonna make the ears. The ears are about twice as big as uh, the nose. So maybe you're right around here for the ears, right? And you're gonna pinch just like this, fold down, and then I'm gonna do another pinch. And this time I'm gonna pinch and twist the body around just like this. So now I have something that kind of looks like this, right? Kind of looks like a, like a sausage links, right? Now we're gonna do something called a lock twist. And what that's gonna do is lock everything into place so that if I let go, it doesn't come undone, right? And the way that I do that is I'm gonna twist these two here, the two ears, right? We're gonna twist one, two, three times. And that's gonna give us the doggy's little head. Isn't that cute, right? Wow, 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 wow. So now we need to make the neck. So again, we'll make the neck maybe about as uh, big as the ear here. We're gonna pinch and we're gonna twist to make the neck. But again, if I let go, it's gonna come undone. So I have to hold on to it just like this, right? And we're gonna repeat the first two steps again, this time making the legs. We'll make the legs twice as long as the neck, right? So there's one leg, fold down, pinch, twist for the other leg, and then we'll do a lock twist and lock all of those things together. So now we have the front half of our dog, right? Just like this. Now we need to make the body. In order to make the body, I'll probably make it about as long as I make the legs. So maybe right about here, 
right? Just like this. We'll twist. And then we'll make two more legs about the same length, right? So one, fold that down, and two, right? I have this small little bubble at the end that's gonna be for the little tail. Do a lock twist, one, two, three, to put everything back. And now we have a little puppy. Now this one is a lot of fun to make. It's really easy. The kids enjoy it. And like I said, I like to do the doggy bag routine with this. Uh, link in the description below so you guys can check that out if you wanna watch what that even is. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot of fun to make. Really cool, really cute. Now you have a dog. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and make a snake. So again, I got a 260 here, a little blue one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and similar to the dog, we're gonna blow this up. Now, it, no, we're not gonna just inflate like a long balloon and just give it to a kid and there you go, buddy, it's a snake. It's gonna be a legit snake. It's gonna look like a cobra, okay? So uh, we'll go ahead and put this here and we're gonna inflate the snake. Now, just like the dog, we're not gonna blow it all the way up. We're gonna leave a little bit of room at the end for the tongue, right? A little bit less than the dog, maybe about half as much as we did for the dog and let out some extra for, uh, so we can tie it just like this and that gets fed through and tied off. So now we have this, right? But this is a snake, which means it's gonna, co it's gonna coil, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna coil this around just like this, right? You can kind of squeeze it a little bit. And what I want to do is I want the snake to kind of curl around kind of like this, right? And you can even kind of bend up the neck this way. So this is gonna be the head of the snake. Now, it's almost gonna be like we're making a dog, except we're gonna do one extra step. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna make the nose, right? So again, I'm gonna pinch, and I'm gonna twist off maybe about two fingers length for the nose, and then we're gonna make ears like we're making a dog, right? So twice as long as this, twist. And down, and twist, right? And then we're gonna do a lock twist, right? Just like we're making the dog head. It's the same steps. So now it looks like we have a dog, but with like his tongue sticking out, right? Now the extra step is we're going to make the top of the head of the snake. So we're gonna make that uh, about as big as like the dog ears, right? Here, we're gonna pinch and twist. One, two, three. And this whole thing is gonna get pushed and fed through this opening here, right? So you're gonna push this through and it's gonna come out the other side so that it kinda looks like this. And now we have the head of the snake. Can you see, it's like a little, like a little cobra. And again, we kinda want the snake to, to curl around. So we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze this. Not too hard, because you don't wanna pop it, of course. But we just wanna <laughs> squeeze this a little bit, right? So we can kinda get it to curl around. And now you have a snake. All right, last but not least, we're gonna make a heart. Now this one is both the easiest and the most difficult one of these designs to make at the same time. And I will show you why, right? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a pink uh, 260 here. We're gonna blow this one up all the way, leaving just the teeniest little bit of room at the end so that we have uh, some room when I'm going to twist the balloon. Um, but there's only one twist, so it's not gonna be too bad. We're gonna blow this up pretty much almost all the way, right? Leaving just a tiny little bit. And again, on the other end, we're gonna let out some air so that we can tie this up, right? So now what I'm gonna do is bring the two ends together and uh, kind of like when we were making our sword, we're just gonna hold this. We're gonna pinch both of these here and we're just gonna twist them uh, both together. One, two, three, right? So what that does is that puts uh, a little lock twist at the bottom. So now we have something that kind of looks like this, right? We're gonna grab here and find the middle of this loop and we're gonna pull 
and essentially fold this in half, right? So now I know that this is exactly the middle. I'm then gonna pinch this middle and we're gonna push it here, right? I know that this is the middle here and I'm going to bend this up so that we're kind of making the shape of a heart here. And then what I'm gonna do, and like I said, this is why this is the hardest part because we need to make this look like a heart, right? So I'm gonna bend this up and I'm actually gonna grab the middle here and I'm gonna squeeze this part and we're gonna kind of give this part of the balloon like a little, kind of like a massage, right? We're just kind of squeezing this bit here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna soften it and it's gonna hold the shape so it's gonna look kind of like a heart, right? And like I said, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. Right? So now we have something that kind of looks like a heart. It's still a little round for my liking. So what we can do is we can kind of do the same kind of thing here like this. Do the same kind of thing here like this, right? So that it looks more and more like a heart. Now, I've, I haven't quite gotten to be the best at this yet, as you can see. Um, this is both the easiest and hardest balloon design that I know how to make right now, just because it's just one twist, but making it really look like a heart is not super simple to do, right? So we wanna fold this down just like this. And there we go. We have ourselves a heart. And there you have it, my friends. We have made some really cute designs out of some balloons. And like I said, each of these designs doesn't take too much effort to make. They don't take too long. Uh, the swords, the easiest one, you can crank this out <laughs> in like 30 seconds, right? Dog, another really easy one to do, a really popular one. Plus you can do a really cool, fun little magic performance with it where you, uh, I don't want to spoil it. I'll let you guys watch the doggy bag trick. Um, you can make a snake and the gag with the snake is that you do just inflate a balloon and you give it to the kid and you go, here's your snake. And before they grab it, you go, nah, I'm just kidding. Let's make it look more like a snake. Let's make it look like a cool cobra, right? And then you give it the little cobra head. Really easy, really cute little design. And last but not least, the heart. Uh, now, as you can see, my heart still takes uh, needs to take a little bit more practice um, before I can say that I'm truly happy with it. Um, but uh, the really cool thing is learning how to bend and shape the balloons uh, because there is a couple of balloon designs I'm learning right now that we're going to have to take advantage of this uh, where we're shaping the balloons and stuff. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed this, maybe in a future video, I'll be happy to show you some of the other balloon designs that I'm currently learning and currently working on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, sticking through all the way to the end. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you're going to take some of these and learn some of these designs. I still have a long way to go myself. I have a lot of practice to do. I am by no means a professional balloon twister, but if I can learn how to twist these balloons, anybody can learn how. You guys can do it too. So whether you just wanna learn how to make some fun balloons for your friends or family, uh, or you wanna actually learn how to become a balloon twister, or if you just wanna have a little add-on to add to your kids' shows just to make an extra uh, couple of bucks while you're already there, a lot of really cool things you can do with balloons just using one balloon designs that are really easy to do. And like you said, don't take too long to make. So you can crank out like 20 or 30 balloons in an hour. Uh, and then that way, you're not there for four or five hours making like these intricate designs. Now, of course, if you practice these and you get good at them and you wanna learn more and more and more and more, and there are so many different things you can do balloons. Some of the coolest things, I know so many actual balloon twisters uh, that are just incredible people, super awesome. In fact, maybe we'll even have one or two of them guest on this channel to teach maybe some of their own designs and stuff like that. So if you guys like this, let me know. I'll be happy to see what I can do. Anyways, final thought of the day, what is your favorite balloon design that you like to do at your events? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrianmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.